Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. Welcome to another 360 review. In this video, I want to take a look at the Hello Elementor theme. I'll discuss its strengths and weaknesses and when it makes sense to use it. A frequently asked question among Elementor site builders is what is the best theme to use with Elementor? Many have turned to the Hello Elementor theme while others wonder if it's the best choice. The Hello Elementor theme was first released on GitHub in March 2018, and the Elementor Pro theme builder was released in April of the same year. After they released the Elementor Pro theme builder, users started asking if they even needed a theme anymore. While it was available on GitHub for a year, the use of Hello Elementor really took off once it was added to the WordPress theme directory in May 2019. Today the theme has more than 200,000 active installs. The Hello theme is based on normalized CSS for cross-browser consistency and draws from the HTML5 boilerplate and it also uses the Bootstrap Reboot which is an extract of Bootstrap Element Styles. The theme is released under the MIT license, which is compatible with the GPL. The Hello Elementor theme strengths. The Hello Elementor theme has several strong characteristics, which taken together makes it somewhat unique among popular themes targeting the Elementor ecosystem. The Hello Elementor theme works well with the Elementor Pro theme builder. In theory, you can use the Elementor theme builder with almost any theme, but in reality, theme support for Elementor makes a big difference. The Hello Elementor theme has some addition and tweaks to help with this. For example, it separately closes the header and footer templates, it registers the theme's locations for use with the Elementor theme builder, and it has support for removing the post title. These are common features among a number of page builder friendly themes, but most themes in the WordPress theme directory do not have Elementor theme builder support. The Hello Elementor theme is lightweight and stripped down. It does not include a large number of common theme customization features. For example, you cannot set colors, topography, page width, manage sidebars, etc. If you look in the theme customizer, you only see four sections, and these are standard WordPress features. The styles that come with the theme are very minimal. The intention is that you use Elementor Pro to style your site and not the theme itself. Because it is very minimalistic, it's easy to work with. Hello Elementor is not opinionated, a term used to indicate that built-in styles are hard to override. Because it's so stripped down, it's very fast loading. To test this, I created a demo site and compared the Hello Elementor theme with the free versions of Astra, Generate Press, Cadence, and the Page Builder Framework themes. I created a page called Home, which is an imported Elementor template, and I created just a plain text post using Gutenberg. I tested these two pages using GT Metrics. I tried each one three times for each theme and recorded the fastest load time. The other parameters stayed the same for each theme test. As you can see, the Hello Elementor theme was the fastest, then Astra was second, Generate Press 3rd, Cadence 4th, and the Page Builder Framework 5th. For some of these, the differences were very small. We're talking about tenths of a second. And when you use a cache plugin, the differences wouldn't matter. That being said, we should not negate the consistent good performance that the Hello Elementor theme provides. Hello Elementor theme weaknesses. You must do the theming yourself. Since Hello Elementor does not have many styles, you need to bring your own. For site builders who want to create their own header, footer, and content templates, that's the whole point of using this theme. In other words, it's a feature, not a bug. 
However, new or inexperienced users will need to pay attention to things like layout, design, and mobile responsiveness, characteristics that modern page builder-friendly themes already take care of. Also, there's no Gutenberg support provided in the Hello Elementor theme. If you are creating a site that has a blog or strong content marketing component, then you should be aware that the Hello Elementor theme does not provide support for Gutenberg. But wait, if you use a theme template for posts created in Elementor, aren't those settings applied? Let's take a look. I created a template for single posts using the Elementor theme builder. I went into the theme styles panel and set the fonts and colors to be very noticeable with green text and a script font. This is applied in both the Elementor editor and on the front end of the site. So far, so good. So what's missing? The styles defined in the Elementor editor for theme styles do not carry over to the WordPress editor. Here's what it looks like in Gutenberg. See the disconnect? Also, the colors you defined in the Elementor theme styles area don't carry over to the Gutenberg color palette. This may be confusing for content authors as there is no match and it will be harder to enforce design consistency. Of course, if content created with Gutenberg isn't part of the site, then this is a non-issue. But many of the popular page builder friendly themes make it a point to support Gutenberg so that the color, typography, and styles that you set in the theme customizer can be picked up and applied in the WordPress editor and you can set Elementor to use them as well. So in conclusion, when to use the Hello Elementor theme? Should be clear that the Hello Elementor theme is lightweight, minimalistic, fast, and works well with the Elementor Pro theme builder. It makes sense for experienced site builders to use it and works well when creating a wide range of sites, especially when there's not going to be a blog or strong content marketing component and the site builder wants to create the headers, footers, and content templates. However, if the Gutenberg editor is going to be regularly used to create content, then the site builder may want to use a theme that has good support for both Elementor and Gutenberg. So, that's it for my look at the Hello Elementor theme, its strengths, weaknesses, and when to use it. There's a text version of this video available on the Elementor 360 website. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.